Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's do a quick afternoon update, look at some of the new trends and new data. And one of the things I'm seeing this afternoon that stands out to me is the longevity of this atmospheric river. It may go 1819 at this point, become more of a long-term flow pattern, juicing up these areas of low pressure, hitting the west coast, and then moving into the interior and dropping heavy snow. So that's what I'm seeing. Let me just show you the uh, visible here while I have it up. And guys, look at this. This is really something to write home about. I showed you this yesterday, the fetch or grab or conveyor belt of moisture, this Pineapple Express. So what happens is you get these areas of low pressure, another big one in Colorado. They come through on the jet and they in get entrained. They pull in this added moisture and then they move in juiced up on the west coast. So. Um, you've got uh, the moisture component, you have aura graphics added to this. Um, the only issue is it pushes snow levels up because it's such a warm, moist flow. It tends to push the snow levels up, tends to drive a more dense type of snow rather than the light, dry blower powder. I mean, you tend to get a very dense snow out of some of these events. Um, those are some of the downsides. But I did write about uh, this, the Atmospheric River through 1.7 on my blog this morning, chrystomer.com. There's my video from this morning. Um, let me just show you the pattern, and I'll show you the evidence I've got for this. Um, look at This is the afternoon update on the jet for 1.7. What do you see? Well, I see a deep trough sitting right off the west coast on 1.7, which means it's going to have to translate through the Intermountain West on 1.8 and 1.9. So we're not done on 1.7. And look at the wide, look at the zoom out on this. The jet is still there west to east, powerful, grabbing this moisture like a conveyor belt and moving it in to the west coast. So, you know, it's at a minimum 171819 at this point. All right, back to the blog here. Let me show you timing if you want to see this and, you know, make it full screen. Look at the blog here. So there's Friday morning at 6, big period, 1230, 1, um, with this with this next storm coming in, big time. Look at it move through the Intermountain West on Monday at 6 a.m., and then it's gone. Some lingering moisture on the 3rd, and then we're just sort of waiting on the next big storm to come in on 4, 5, 6, and potentially another storm for 7, 8, 9. Um, there are my numbers from this morning. A couple of things to note. Um, by request, I added, and here are my afternoon numbers, 1229 through 1231. I added the Montana Snow Bowl. A couple of days ago, you might have noted, I added the Arizona Snow Bowl. And a few days before, I added Powderhorn. So these are my numbers. Um, the rest of today through the 31st, you can see the big numbers in the Sierra. The Wasatch, another one to two feet, maybe another foot in the Tetons. And in western Colorado, another four to 12. Again, that's 1229 through 1231. Here's the big period, though. This is going to be 1-1 um, one, one through 1-7. One, um, and this captures quite a bit of activity. Um, look at the numbers in the Sierra. Another 60, 40, 50, 60, 70 inches of snow. The Tetons, another foot or more through that period. And the Wasatch, another 17 to 32. Another 1 to 2, 3 feet, depending on your location there. So big snow. Um, just in period 1 to period 2, you're looking at 50 to 60 more inches of snow in big and little Cottonwood Canyon. Um, and then more snow comes in on 8-9. So we're not done. I mean, tomorrow when I extend this out to the 8th, you'll see the numbers are even bigger because we're adding in what happens on the 8th. Uh, in Colorado, another 1 to 2 feet, so we're doing well there, especially western Colorado and southwest Colorado. Um, so that takes us through 1-7. All right, guys, there you go. There's the afternoon update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.